Hi, this is Josh from greendropship.com, and today I'm going to show you how to add products to your Amazon Seller Central account using a flat file. So to get started, let's log into our Green Dropship members account to download our product information. This is really just to ensure that the information that we are entering into our Amazon flat file template is correct. So let's start by downloading our CSV file. And we can open it for now. So once we've done this, now we can go over to our Amazon Seller Central account. To get started, let's go over to the Download and Inventory File tab. So under Step 1, you're going to see the Search Tools and Product Classifier. This is going to help you find the right template for your products. So for this example, we're going to use the Veggie Snacks template. So to find this, I know that this template is going to be under Grocery and Gourmet Food. So I'm going to click this. And now the search gets even more narrow. So I'm going to go under Snack Food. And really this depends on whatever kind of products that you're selling. You're going to have different categories for different products. So I'm going to go down to Vegetable Snacks right here. And this is where I'm going to be able to actually select the template. So once I hit Select, you can see at the bottom that there's a summary of the products that I've selected. And keep in mind the node ID right here. This is going to come in handy later on. So as you notice, you can see the classification path here with the grocery and gourmet food, snack food, and vegetable snacks. So now that we've done this, we can go down to step two. This is where you can actually select the template that you want to download. For this tutorial, we're going to be downloading the light version of the template. This template contains the minimum required attributes that are necessary to list products on Amazon. You can always select the advanced template as well if you want to include more information, such as the required, preferred, and optional attribute groups. But for now, we're just going to stick with the light template. So then we can just go over here to generate template. So now what it's going to do is it's going to download your file. And the first thing you're going to see is a set of instructions. I do recommend reading through this to learn more about how to upload flat files to Amazon. And same thing with the second tab here, this is going to show you how to upload the best quality images to Amazon. But to actually get to the template, we're going to go over to this template tab here. So here's your blank template. So for this example, I've already gone ahead and pre-populated some of these fields. So remember the browse nodes number that I told you about earlier? You can find this here. And to get this number, all you have to do is hit this drop down menu and the number will be right there. So you can just double check and make sure that you have the right template. And as far as the seller SKU, all you have to do is go over to your products CSV file that you downloaded earlier, find the products that you want to list, and all you have to do is cut and paste from document to document. This is always a good idea just to make sure that all of your information is accurate. So I did that for both the seller SKU and the product ID. Now for the product ID type, I know that it's a UPC because when I came over to my standard CSV file, the category is UPC. So then I just selected UPC from the drop down menu right here. So I just chose UPC. And for the brand name, I just copy and pasted from the CSV file. So this just makes sure that there's consistency between the sales channels and e-commerce platforms that I'm using for my business. So I just go over and I enter in the brand name, product name, and manufacturer for the product that I'm selling. And then for the product type, I know that it's a food so I just go down to this drop down arrow and I select food. I enter the price, quantities, and then for the main image URL, same deal. I just come back over here under images one, control X or Apple X, and then just paste right here. So once we've done that, then we can just go up to file, save, and now we've saved an updated flat file that we can now upload to our Amazon Seller Central account. So we can just go back. So now when we scroll back up, 
we just go to the check and upload your inventory file tab right here. So for file type, you're going to select inventory files for non-media categories. Now when it asks you to choose the file, you just choose the file that we just edited. So vegetable snacks, there it is. And then I just go to check my file. So as you can see, the records process successfully is one. There are no warnings and no errors, which means that everything went well and Amazon accepted the products that I uploaded. Now remember, in this example, we only used one product, but you can use lots of different products and that's why using flat files is so useful is that you're able to upload multiple products with one file. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. Be sure to tune in for more great videos from greendropship.com.